Hey everybody, Rose Matter here, and welcome to part 6 of my AI The Somnium Files Let's Play. In the last episode, uh, we somehow managed to go back and kind of reverse what happened in the previous episode, which was Iris and Ota and So dying. Uh, and in this timeline, uh, by going into the Somnium of Iris, in a previous day, we were able to find out some more information and managed to actually have everybody survive. But this is interesting because in this one, it seems like it's leaning towards Ota's mom might having something to do with the attempted murder of Iris. It seems to be leaning that way. Ota's been very fishy, hiding a knife, a knife that was used, to, I'm guessing, to stab him. Um, so we are about to go into his Somnium and try and figure out, like, maybe what he saw, what happened that night, and figure out what the heck is going on. Uh, I'm very interested to find out more about this, so let's go ahead and let's see what happens next. Dante, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please, do not go over it. Won't be a problem, but are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out yeah, of surgery. We didn't, uh... Yeah, we didn't have a site consent but... form or anything. <laughs> Boss is obviously okay with bending the rules. <laughs> and Pewter's okay, he's complicit too. Can I get that in writing, guys? A verbal agreement I don't think is gonna be enough. Oh my gosh, she looks so adorable! Like Can a little you please take me with you? kitty cat in a box. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't <laughs> need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. All right, so we are back. Is this cold so we're gonna breakfast? see what happened this night, I guess. And there's Iris. Seems to be. Not a manga cafe. An otaku shop? No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so little. Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's. Iris is about to be Stop right there. Oh boy, this is going to be a weird one. <laughs> the heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. Yeah! <laughs> Is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan, activate. Relive Ota's memories. Reproduce the fiery battle between Ota and the polar bear. Save Iris, save the world. Curse you, polar bear! I will vanquish you! But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Do I have to melt the ice somehow, maybe, to prevent that from happening? <laughs> this is, uh, like, a murder is about to happen to this, but it's so goofy. I do appreciate the comedy in this, like, they're dealing with some heavy stuff, but there's definitely some 
laugh out loud moments. If I go in like that, I'll have nothing to show for it. Oh, if it amounts to nothing, what will I do? I mean, like, go around the ice, maybe? I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Oh, gosh, he's so little. Okay, so first we want to go towards the door, because we can get uh, some free timies. Ooh, but that takes a lot of seconds. Damn. Okay, let's open it. It won't open. We need to do something inside the warehouse first. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, the icy floor. So this is the big thing here. The ice on the floor is slick. Uh, let's uh, we'll slide. Wee. Leave it to me. Yuri Katsuki? <laughs> Good exhibition. That was <laughs> it would have been perfect if I had a tight black bodysuit. Maybe you can do a Javier Fernandez routine next. Those who don't fight won't survive! Uh-oh. What's going on here? Okay. So this is, uh... I don't even know if that was... Okay, that was the right thing to do. Ice removed. Apparently by sliding on the ice, I removed it. A lot of the times when I do these mental locks, it feels like I just accidentally find the correct thing to do. Okay. Damn! He's too strong! It sucks, but this is war after all! <sighs> May the glory of victory be yours! It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Oh shoot, what was the second mental lock? Oh, there's a lot of- oh, there's three plates here? Do I have to actually- You've got four minutes. Something to do with these? attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Alright, let's- oh boy, this uses up a lot of time. Okay, well maybe we'll breathe on it? Maybe the heat from the breath will- But then- Something strange happened. What's happening? Oh, okay, that seems like a good oh, thing. Right. What is this? I I have no idea what's going on. It looks like a logo for a sports team or something. Oh, is that- oh, that's her thing, A-set? Oh, oh, uh, what the fuck? If this was another, I would have died already. Wait, are they another? Isn't that- isn't that an anime? Are they referencing an anime? Next time, that's one that people have me. recommended to me, so. Okay. I- okay, cool, I did the right thing again, maybe. Because the mental lock could have gone into two different directions, it seems like. No! I will fight destiny! He says. All right, so something about that box, I'm guessing. We have to make Hero of Justice Ota fight back. All right, something with the crane there, or the uh, not the crane, ah, forklift, and that box. All right, let's head on over there. All right, so far we're actually doing okay. It's it's a lot, like it takes up a lot of time, but so let's uh, space. Let's check out this wooden box. Uh, all right, let's break it. What is even with my spinning eye but kick I couldn't do it. <laughs> the amazing eye but kick doesn't do it either. <laughs> oh my god, even if this wasn't the right option, it was worth it just to working. see that. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? How about something other than a kick? Okay, that didn't work, but I still love seeing it. Minutes, okay, okay. A forklift. Uh, wait, what does that say? Sortie? Sortie? Pray or push? Okay, let's push it. I don't know what praying would do, and I don't even know what that top word says there. Oh my gosh, I, but can you actually push that? I think I'm gonna have to be going back uh, and doing this again. Guess there's nothing we can do. Cars are meant to be driven, right? Yeah. 
Okay, let's try it again. Ah, we only have to do two more mental locks, so okay. What? Sorting. Now, I don't know what that word means. This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual <laughs> has been destroyed. All right, here we go. If she can reach the pedals. <laughs> green. Synchronization rate six percent. Now, cargo handling car, forklift, sortie. Hey, forklift, fork over that weapon now. This has actually been, like, the easiest one so far for me. I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. Okay, so what can we get to help him stand up? You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Uh, maybe I have to do something with the polar bear? Uh, okay, I can't do anything with the polar bear. Maybe Iris herself? Iris is on the platform. Uh, throw ice at her, wake her ears. Uh, let's try ears. Tessa's catchphrase. Yeah, if anything is gonna make her react, it's that. All right, ears. Headset, pet, ace. Oh, he's up. Okay, I did it. No, not you. Hey, but we wanted him up. This will probably not help wake Iris. But we wanted him to get up, right? Wait, no, that's good. We wanted. Oh, and now he's lying back down again. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to Ota. I thought I did it like, yes! I motivated him. Ota is still down. Uh-oh, what's this? Motivate, encourage, calm, cheer. Let's cheer him. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it! The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't run away now! I did it? I can't okay. sacrifice Tessa! Awaken the soul! That, I, I did it. Uh, okay. Cool. There. Oh, that is. <gasps> yeah, that's his mom's knife. But and then she actually stabbed him. Wow. Maybe she was like, "This is for your own good," but damn, like. In the stomach, like that seems like that's that was attempted murder. Like that was a that was an attempt at a kill shot. But like his reaction to the knife is like that's his mom's knife. Wow, look at that. Look at all that extra time I had. Normally when I do this, I have like ten seconds left. <laughs> Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. All right, now we're so doing another sorry, interrogation. Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I did not. Temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there. He did take the knife, but he didn't know about the uh, the bag. Otherwise, I'm sure he would try to take that too. But it makes it likely. The evidence is... Uh, oh, okay, we're talking about the knife. Okay. Oh, or the, uh, the chocolate. Okay, so let's do that one. As I said, we found it at the scene. We found that at the scene. We didn't find the knife until he had it. I took it out of my pocket and showed him. The Hodoroki Man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So? That doesn't prove anything. 
Mayumi's fingerprints were on the package. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom, even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would Exactly, stab that's me. the big thing. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I'm not. We gotta mention about how he was hiding that knife. Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse, but you're hiding that from us. Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am not! Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? I mean, you were literally hiding the knife. Yeah, right there. The kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? The criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Because I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused, and then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... And? Mom never liked Tessa. So maybe... Just maybe... Oh, well, even he... He might even suspect her. Mom hired someone to kill Tessa, and she gave them that kitchen knife. Okay. I don't know. I thought of it that way. <laughs> like that would ever happen. Poor Ota, he's stuck between the two... Two women that he loves. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris because. Ah, oh, okay. Let's get into this. Uh, maybe the two car situation. I want to, like, try and... Oh, that alone isn't enough. I need more evidence. Okay. Uh, the fishery? Maybe? Seems to be unrelated. Okay. The streaming equipment? Not it. Okay. I just... No, not this. Oh, the whole thing about how she was buying. Matsushita's van was stolen from the parking lot. Yeah, this is a this is a weird kind of like gotta figure out this whole thing with the two cars, the two different convenience stores. That was yesterday, 10:32 p.m. One minute later, at the 8:12, which was about a hundred yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. She entered the 8:12 about a minute earlier. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van, and that means. That Mayumi being the polar bear is okay. also next to impossible. Phew. However, I can't completely clear her. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. But that was... In any case, I need to hear from Mayumi herself. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. I'm gonna head to Matsushita Diner. What? Hey, w wait a minute! Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. No, and the whole thing about taking the eye from Iris. Like, that's in line with the serial killer. Right, Ota? Thank you, Date. But yes, it's like Date said, there is a lot of questions. The why is that chocolate bag there? Uh, the knife, all that stuff. How does that all connect? Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita, but I have some questions I need to ask you. Oh, this is gonna be tough because she's got she's got dementia, so could you spare some time? She might not even remember any of this happening. I finally remember. Oh, she does remember about the warehouse. Hmm? I did it. 
Whoa. I did everything. What? What? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Damn. Okay. <laughs> this is escalating quickly. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest, I don't think you're the killer. You're oh, she's, giving us a false confession. She's covering for someone. The only person she would cover for would be Ota, but I don't think Ota would do this either. No, it's true! Unless maybe somebody is like, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Maybe someone's threatening her? Blackmailing her? Maybe, like they said, yeah, take the fall and we won't hurt Ota, because I feel like he's the only one she would care about. I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. I don't believe that. I was so suspicious of her last episode, and, and now I'm like, costume. no. I bought it through mail order. She is definitely covering for someone. She's being... She's being threatened and or you were the one blackmailed. It? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that. <laughs> I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. All right, were you the one who stabbed Ota? Well... You were in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes, I, I stabbed him with the knife I brought from home. I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... All right, why did you kidnap Iris? My son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. See, that, like, that sounds like that could be a possibility. Maybe not the kidnapping, but maybe somebody told Mamie, like, hey, we're going to take Iris out. And maybe you could help? She might have gone along with that. Why did you take out her eye? Because I... I just hated her so much. Killing her wasn't enough. Damn. Why did you want to stream it? Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know? Yeah, I was gonna say, Mayumi streaming? doesn't seem like the type who would know how to set stuff like that up. I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. <laughs> Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. It's more like... Muscle memory. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, <laughs> that's all. I said it would be like trying having my mom try to explain how to do anything to do with technology. <laughs> Bad liar. Alright, where did you get the camera and laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. Oh my gosh, Mayumi. Which garbage? You're as bad as a liar as your son. Uh, I, I don't remember. It's true, I planned the whole thing. About the Cyclops killings. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. And then she says they. It's like it would make it seem like it'd be you. Doing the same thing. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me, that person is you? You killed Choco and Renju? Yes, I killed them. Like, is there anything to look around here? Boss? Is Boss around? Can I talk to Boss? No? Alright. Why are you lying? Oh, let's say, what was your motive? Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. What about Shoko? Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. 
but the two divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter! The bonds of matrimony are eternal! In your opinion, <laughs> I don't think Renju felt the same way. <laughs> you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there. All right, when and how did you kill her? Well, I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? I bet I'm guessing it's uh, somebody from the Yakuza's probably behind this and threatening her. Do you really think that lie is going to work? Uh, I have a memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. Are we gonna have to go into her Somnium next? For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly. Now here's the thing, mind. if someone has a memory disorder, how would the Somnium work for there? Like, would it be different? Or are they deep-laden memories that even if they can't consciously remember them, like, unconsciously, they'd still be there? This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Why are you lying? That's the big question. We know she's lying. I am not lying. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you. I mean, I'm she's lying. literally willing to say that she murdered three people, so I don't think she's worried about, like, if she's gonna get in trouble. I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half. Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am! the killer i am right now we have to rely on hard evidence the odoroki man chocolate that mayumi bought was found at the warehouse if mayumi was at the scene before ota she may have seen the criminal's face you know what i'm going to say right Doctor, somnium sync with her yep all right wow two two sinks in like the first half hour we'll see if i do as well with her as i did with ota probably not Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um, well... Oh, what's uh, what going happened? on here? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. Yesterday's sync... Well, suffice to say, uh, Ota and Date were... Not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now... It's not responding. How long will it take to fix? 16 hours, at least. You've got eight. <laughs> but that's impossible. <laughs> Boss, come on. I love when people say that, where it's just like, they don't understand how technology works, and they'll be like, I don't care what you say. Uh, like, time... Time means nothing to me. Technology means nothing to me. I don't understand how this works, but you better get it fixed sooner. So we can't sync yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. Is it like they're gonna have to release her without hard evidence? Although she wants to admit to the crime, so maybe just hold her for a little bit longer. I let Boss and Pewter know. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. <laughs> you, she's like, Beast at eight! <laughs> yeah. Beast at eight? Please, you have to give me at least eight. That pewter. Always so humble. <laughs> He'll have it done in six. Or pewter. Yeah, pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey, this is a hostile work environment. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But who? Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. Who is Mayumi covering for? <laughs> Iris? <laughs> it's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm wondering 
Maybe he did kidnap Iris. Oh, he wouldn't pull out her eye, though. I was thinking without the eye thing, maybe what he would do is film it. Because uh, the whole thing about, like, the polar bear and him were never on screen at the same time. So maybe he set it all up to make it look like he was rescuing Iris and live streaming it so that everybody would be able to see, like, I'm the number one Iris fan. I literally saved her life and then he could show it to her, like, look what I did for you. I saved you. And then maybe he stabbed himself with the knife? Maybe he stole- he took the knife from the di- No, that wouldn't make sense, because, like, that would pin it on his mom. I was like, if he took the knife from the kitchen, he just grabbed a knife and then stabbed himself to make it look like he got an altercation with the polar bear. Like, that would be my thing, is, like, he did this himself to look like the big hero to Iris, and that's why, like- And maybe that one time where Iris actually got killed, something happened to- Ota, where he wasn't able to get to her in time and accidentally killed her, but then how did he end up in the polar bear costume on the, uh, on the ice cutting machine? Unless, like, he was so upset at what he did, he killed himself? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Without the eye removal thing and without the previous stuff that happened uh, the first time, I could see Ota doing this in a weird, weird fucked up way to uh, have Iris kind of love him because he saved her life. Yes. Why would he do that? Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility All right, let's see. that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Why? Why can't Ota be the culprit? And yesterday, Somnium Ulta and the Color Bear at the van stolen at Famisto. Uh, Iris had her eye taken out. I'll say Iris had her eye taken out. I can't imagine him doing that to her. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What? What? Or even asked Ota to what? do it. What? Perhaps she ordered him to. That seems. Yeah, that seems like a stretch. And yesterday, Somnium Ota and the Polar Bear. In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the Polar Bear. That was just a dream. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. Okay, the van stolen at Fam Famastop. The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. I don't know. I don't understand. In short, Ota and what? Iris are accomplices. Ah. This was all a performance. I mean, having the eye taken out, that's... That's a stretch. A performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. Was this like to maybe make her more popular? Like to have it broadcast all over the world knowing that this would be like big news? They went to the warehouse separately. I mean, I know that, uh, I know streamers and stuff can go out of their way to do crazy things to get, uh, you know, views and notoriety and popularity, but that seems a bit much. Then they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. I would find it hard to believe that, like, Iris would do anything to do with her looks, right? Like, she kind of relies on that. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and yeah. the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. This is true. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then. Stay away from Tessa! He said that whole thing about, like, with the knife being like, you weren't supposed to find the knife. The, the knife was supposed to not be at the scene of the crime. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes. But this is only a theory. Why would they do that? Let's see if she has the same idea Consider I do. The possibility that Iris killed Whoa. And okay, that I wasn't expecting is an explanation. Then, 
This whole thing was to get mm. her off the suspect's list. Okay, I see. So if she had her eye taken out, she would look like a victim of the killer. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. Okay, Ota would do it if she asked him to. That's an interesting theory. Saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. And this is someone who has uh, prior knowledge of the killings, and Iris did apparently see the killings happen. So... That's the other thing, is what is Iris's connection to the previous Whoever killer? killer is, it is oh, well, I guess... Falco, right? Psychotic. Falco was her mother's boyfriend, so... We can't rule anything out. Oh. Why are you? Why did you arrest mom? You said you were gonna clear her. Why? Oh. There's a photo in front of Ota. <laughs> Awkward conversation. I'm going to look over here. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Ota. It looks like Ota's calmed down. Uh, let's see. Are you doing okay? Okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer. Easy, kid. You're going to open up your stitches. <laughs> and your mom? Are you worried about Iris? So worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful, but they told me she isn't out of the ICU yet. Are you worried about Mayumi? Of course I am! That's my mom! What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. It's not like Mayumi is under arrest. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed. But it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Is Iris the criminal? Oh, we're getting right into this. Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. Are we gonna have to put you back <laughs> in the sink machine? And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself, or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal! That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you fake something, <laughs> would it, Ota? Damn, Dante not letting that go. He's always gonna hold that over his head. Yeah. All right, did you stage the warehouse incident? I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently, she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? 
Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Alright, about Mayumi's dementia. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... Wait, he says it's his fault? Did he have something to do with the explosion? The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When so this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. So how are they still... That's my thing. Is like, how are they still able to, like, keep this place open? And he was a security guard in traffic cop I mean, at night. it's not open-open, but still. Mom worked as a janitor. They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC, and idol concert tickets. I had it good, but we were drowning in debt. Debt. So this is where maybe that's why she's... Maybe she's in debt to, like, the Yakuza or something, so that they're using her... As maybe they're like, take the fall for this, or else we'll kill Ota, or something. There's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university. But right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah, he had a heart attack. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow, a writer. Damn, that's that's a good goal to have. That's a ride or die mom right there. But you really should finish college. You worked so hard to get in. Not saying we worked hard to pay for it. He worked hard. <sighs> you don't understand, mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? Well. Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever. I'll always support you, Ota. That's really sweet, actually. Aw. You lied about the editor thing, right? Yeah. How do you guess? Because you're a bad liar. It was really just a few texts back and forth, but I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But it's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit ten times that. But Mom, she still... She kept supporting me. Alright, when did Mayumi's illness start? Not long after I quit college. Oh, so he blames... He thinks that that was like a breaking point for her, maybe? That like he caused it somehow? Mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Oda? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie, I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? 
Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Aww. Don't fuck with me! Poor Mayumi. Alright, listen to the rest of the story. This feels like a... Because I'm such a piece of shit. I feel like a therapist right now. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse and worse. Um... Alright, I'm coming around on Ota. I really didn't care for him at first, but oh man, like all of them, tough life. I'd be afraid to look at this picture again. He's gonna bonk me over the head again. Oh, to turn the photo frame to me so I can see. Looking at this photo reminds me one time when I was a kid, I said something really bad to mom and dad, and they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iba. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit, <laughs> but I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Damn, Date straight up saying, like, I don't like him at all. No, no sympathy. Well... A little bit of sympathy, just being like, then again, all the stuff Ota's done to Date, I can understand why he doesn't like him. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. <laughs> Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iba, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. Ota sitting with a depressed look on his face. Alright. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Iba, are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? Ota is the one who drove the station wagon. Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities. Either Iris, or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Mayumi? And we know that Iris is uh, not opposed to driving a car even though she doesn't have a license. Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse, but that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. So they, is he saying someone took that chocolate, maybe with gloves on so that uh, they didn't leave fingerprints and left it here to imply, make it seem like she was here? Of course! A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. Iva connected to the end system server and began her research. She got a result in no time. Found one hit. A taxi. Oh, okay. Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemniscate's parking lot. At Lemniscate? Of course. Why? It all connects. Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately.
Hey, got a minute? Hmm, are you talking to moi? Moi? <laughs> Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. I just like to imagine he's a little distracted by the receptionist. <laughs> he literally is like, yes, I know I need to interview this taxi driver, but I'm going to go hit on the uh, receptionist. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> I walked closer to the receptionist. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you asked me out before, didn't you? But it's kind of complicated. I told you, I am reptilian. But you were just joking. Right. What if she did it? What if she was behind everything? No, I'm serious. She took the job at the receptionist, uh, as a receptionist, to get close to everybody. I only eat vegetables. <laughs> oh my god. I am fairly sure she means vegetarian. About Iris. Well, there we go. I can pretend what? like I'm... <laughs> too far away. I can't hear you. I can pretend like I'm doing some intel here. I walk closer to the receptionist. Oh, I can't believe Tessa became a victim, too! It's like, seriously, can you not? What if I'm next? It freaks me out. Date, could you introduce me to some big, strong man who can protect me? Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine on your own. No, I'll totally die. <laughs> Maybe she will. Maybe she'll be the next one. She's predicting her own death. This is a very, uh... <laughs> what? Very patient taxi driver. I'm just completely ignoring well, him. Well, what can I say, you know? The biz is harsh, schedules are tight. If we shut down for even a day, we'd throw everyone else's schedules off. So they want to avoid that, of course. All right, I suppose I can talk to you now. Self-employed taxi driver, where are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. What are you doing here? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. About Mayumi. Before I arrived at Lemniscate, I got a picture of Mayumi from... Uh, abyss. I showed it to the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Oh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. Oh. Old hag. Wow. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hat. So she wanted to follow them, I'm guessing. And as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that man, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Famisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van, so I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. She buy that? Minutes later, <laughs> the old hag finished making her purchases and walked I like the idea that she like bought that to maybe try and bribe Ota to be like, hey, come back home. Also, I don't like the fact he keeps calling her an old hag. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. 
If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was okay. left behind Mephisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. Okay, now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises oh. through the front gate and disappeared from view. I'm guessing that's going to be So's, uh, the politician's manor. We, of course, could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But thirty minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kabasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. Yeah, this seems like this is a so thing, because he has that uh, connection with Kabasaki District, the manor. So somebody stole the van with Iris inside and drove her to the manor and then they went to the Kapasaki district and then to the cold storage warehouse. About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. Please continue. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the Ariake warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. Okay, so it's like, how did she make it back home in that case? The goose was cooked at this point. Well, so I made the decision. I suppose that at that point, um, Ota would have showed up, so he probably took her home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. All right, I have one more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of yep. Congressman So Sejima. Sejima? Why did the van go to So's house? We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. I have a feeling I'm not going to have quite as uh, pleasant, quote-unquote pleasant, of an interaction with So. I feel like I'm about to uh, get into a fight with his bodyguards at this point. Let's look around, though. I always want to, like, ah, check things out. This is oh, I wasn't expecting him to talk. How do you know? So he doesn't follow newspapers or uh, TV programs or news programs, but he knows about the idol groups. A potted plant. Dante, look! An antlion! <laughs> what? Yay! Go, antlion! <laughs> Iva has a strange fascination with insects. Featured, anyone can run a pyramid scheme. I believe I'll purchase that on my way home. Now I want to look at things just to see his intake, too. Oh, have you taken note of the painting? It is titled, Lions Fishing, Carpe Diem. All right, all right. Let's uh, go to the Sejima residence. There's no one here. Oh, I feel like I'm uh, I'm gonna get ambushed right now. Indeed. It's quiet, too quiet. I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Or that, or we could just break into his place. Cool, cool. This feels like a trap, though. Hey, Iba, do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, 
Correct. Oh, either a dead body or maybe gas leak. Oh, right. Oh, wasn't he found in the vase? Oh, maybe he's in there. All right, let's look at other stuff first. A hanging scroll. Expensive looking table in the middle of the room. I have a bad feeling about that vase because I remember him being found by the uh, housekeeper in that folding screen. And when he says that there's a smell, a cushion on top of the chair. All right, let's check it out. There's something strange about this vase. Oh, let's do an x-ray. <sighs> x-ray. It's definitely dead body. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. X-ray, X-ray. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure... Oh, and he's all cut up. Yep, just like before. So we're having stuff repeat themselves here. History's repeating itself. Uh, oh, right, I guess I actually have to click on it. What the... Date, destroy the base! Got it. Oh, this is going to be so unpleasant. It's like body parts all falling out. I mean, of all the people to save, I would rather have saved Ota. Oh, and Iris. But damn, that is grisly. And his eye was taken out, of course. So Sejima? Uh, this doesn't look good on me. I just came in with a gun. Trespassed and found this body. So's body. Cut into pieces. So, like, that's my question about, you know, the what happened last time. Uh, is this just, like, a different timeline? He probably doesn't have any memory of, like, the last time when all that stuff happened. It's like it never did happen. Fragments of the Broken Bays. Is there, like, something specific I'm supposed to be looking for here? I feel like there's like something oh his head right the head of so with the eye cut out the left eye is hollowed out this is most likely a crime committed by the new cyclops killer hmm i wonder if that person who came in in the van killed so that night interesting that the bodyguards are all gone do you have an estimated time of death today sometime between all right never mind and noon. okay that's about when i was talking to ota at matsushita diner well, at least we can rule Ota out. Mayumi was in police custody, and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. It's Boss. They have not moved. I'm gonna suspect Boss of this stuff, or that the receptionist. Ota, Mayumi <laughs> and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the All right. Cyclops killer. Right. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Date, a call from Pewter. Connect me. Date, the sick machine is up and running. Yeah, we got other things to deal with right now. <laughs> you can with now. Oh. Thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah. I found So Sejima's body with the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Date, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Mayumi was at the warehouse yesterday. And we know the chocolate we found at this scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sync with Mayumi. Alright. You know, I realize I haven't checked this in a long time. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much information. Let's just take a moment for this. Uh, Takiro, so that is uh, Ota's father, likes Mayumi Ota Matsushita Diner, dislikes customers who don't finish their food. Hobbies, fishing and shogi, skills backflips and throwing knives. 
Takiro is an ardent student of cooking and very particular about the ingredients he uses. Therefore, his diner attracted many customers but did not make significant product for profit. Helping Mayumi was his first priority, decreasing his focus on the diner. Alright, Mama. Tending bar, selling information, likes loincloths, switching, making them touch. Dislikes hate crimes and customers who throw up in the bar. Hobbies, polishing Benito, watching videos. Skills has the uncanny ability to detect virginity. Mama owns the bar Marble in Golden Yokocho in Shin uh, Shinjuku. Date and Okiro are regulars there and she knows them well. She's also an informant information broker in the criminal underworld. All right, Moma. Likes humanity and justice, chivalry, Gandhi, pandas, and women. Dislikes old-fashioned and irrational traditions. Hobbies, watching dance, collecting art, hot springs, vacations. Skills, shooting, magic tricks, and beatboxing. Well, uh, he's an interesting character. Moma became the leader of the Kumakura Yakuza gang after his predecessor stepped down several years ago. In the past, the Kumakuras were known for being ruthless and violent, but Moma hopes to make the group more peaceful and business-minded. Well, interesting. Rohan, previous Kumakura boss, likes guns, drugs, money, women, power, dislikes, betrayal, rival gangs, and cops. Hobbies, politics, investment fraud, organ trading, land speculation, skills, torture. See, that seems more like a mob boss. It's like uh, MOBA is like the progressive <laughs> new wave version. Rohan used to be the leader of the Kumakura gang. One year ago, he committed suicide by jumping from the roof of a building. He was known for the horrific torture technique of peeling his victim's skin from toe to thigh. Oof. Number 89. Uh, name unknown. Profession unknown. Likes unknown. Dislikes unknown. Hobbies unknown. Skills unknown. A mysterious inmate currently serving a life sentence at Fuchu Prison for murder known only as number 89. Well, we knew that his nickname was Falco. Alright. Bodyguard name secret. Profession, so's bodyguard, likes boobs, erotic novels, dislikes men, males, testosterone, hobbies, swimsuit magazines, skills, self-defense. He's one of so's many bodyguards. Even though they look alike, they are not clones. They all wear face masks to hide their identity. Oh, interesting. Yakuza A, name Chinpei Wagai, likes ass, erotic novels, his boss, dislikes police, his big brother, animal cruelty, hobbies, training dogs, skills, won a dog training contest. He is the lowest ranking member of the Kumakuras. He once had dreams of pursuing their top spot in the gang, but has since decided he'd rather focus on training his favorite dog. Aww. Yakuza B, named Dakuta Yogano. Likes dominatrixes, dislikes domestic violence, hobbies, dissection, skills, suturing. Perhaps due to the way he looks, he's often mistaken for a low ranking member, even though he's towards the top. He typically does office work. He has recently fallen in love and lost a lot of weight. Receptionist. Um, likes yellow spotted river turtles. Dislikes men that act like ballers but are really scrubs. Hobbies, gambling and partying skills, anti-aging techniques. She is Lemniscate's receptionist. She likes men that are real bros and can vibe with them from the jump. Lately her shoulders have been stiffening up on her though. Taxi driver. Likes ghosts, doppelgangers, fists, saws, chimneys. Dislikes people who watch the map on their smartphones the whole ride. Hobbies, multi-level marketing, skills, tales, sticking around, keeping things casual. Taxi driver specializing in driving celebrities and entertainers. He has a special relationship with Lemniscate and often drives their talent. Okay, so here's another connection. Inspector Kagami. He likes ear picks, dandelions, afros. Uh, Kesaran, Pasaran, I don't know what that is. L dislikes people who don't remember his name. <laughs> Cilantro and Ginkgo. Hobbies, train surfing and extreme ironing skills, pretending to be dead. An expert inspector with remarkable skills. He was assigned to the new Cyclops killer. He's actually really cute when he takes his mask off and he's single. What if Kagami... What if Kagami was the killer? He's always at the crime scenes, right? Alright, so there we go. Uh, sort of caught up there. And with that uh, interlude out of the way, let's head over to Abyss. Swarming outside the building. Really? 
Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find... This will be hope. interesting. Like, sinking into a brain that uh, yeah. ha is dementia, you know, has dementia. If that affects it. if it's like super foggy because this will be interesting where is this oh okay we're oh, at the diner silly me. this is my house huh i what happened to me this is matsushita diner though it looks odd Likely an effect Aww. of dementia. And then all of the little things floating are all flowers because she likes flowers. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must. Somnium scan! Activate! have five mental locks i guess it makes sense oh okay i was like are we gonna have six mental locks find mayumi's lost memories reproduce mayumi's past actions to invoke her lost memories oh this music is so nice the sliding door at the entrance who could that be uh i'll say welcome back maybe it's the husband welcome back Welcome back, Ota. Or Ota. You're late today. I'm home. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is omelet rice. Your favorite. Dad isn't back yet, but you can start eating. Again? Oh, is this like after he'd already passed? I'm okay. I ate already. But or Mayumi. I'm fine. Uh, Ota, wait. Ota. She breaks my heart, man. Part of the diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. It looks like a sad memory. I bet this is, uh... Because they always talk about that... That Mother's Day thing, so maybe that that's it. Doesn't matter if it's sad. That seems Still. to be like a very important core memory for her. Okay. Oh, the calendar? Agent Dante, the calendar. you've got five minutes. Uh today's date is the calendar reads five years ago. A calendar. Oh, I didn't oh shoot. I didn't no escape. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Alright, so the swinging door. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. Uh, let's say... Let's get ready. Let's get ready! Uh -oh. For... what? To prepare the diner. Do I have to do the preparations? Well, Mayumi is working here. But aren't there other things to investigate? You don't want to go to the kitchen? I am not good with... wet areas. You know, when you're in my eye socket, you're always moist. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Isn't the inside of my eye socket pretty moist? She's like, stop saying moist. I hate that it word. Most girls stop hate that, that word. Huh? Yep. Yeah. I bet that's it. Oh, the phone. Oh, boy, I'm running out of time. You've got it's the phone. Minutes. Maybe try picking it up. Roger. Uh, 
uh, my husband, maybe we'll say? Who's Tagooter? My husband? Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. What? Ma my husband! Why? No. Oh. Is this the day that... Oh, maybe that's it. Like, the day that he died and then that's when her memory started to go. This is gonna be a real sad one. Damn, I only got to mental lock one and I've lost so much time already. Like, um, Ota's was so insane and, like, funny. And this one is gonna be really tragic. The diner has changed again. However... These memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe. But we have to see this through. We have to. Understood. Bucket? A bucket. Let's wear it. Delicious. Uh... I kind of want to wear it, but I'm going to get two of those things, so I'm not going to. Delicious. <laughs> You'll give it a try, right? I know this is the wrong thing to do, but I just want to see what happens. I can always restart because I've already like not done great time with this one so far. Ah, rich and tasty. It is a diner after all. All the good flavors. Oh, gross. <laughs> Oh, that face, though. I honestly can't believe you did that. I never would have done that. You have an uncanny ability to drive people to murderous <laughs> intent. Do you know that? I'm a love and peace kind of guy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, a cake. A cake. Someone's birthday. A delicious content. cake. I wonder who it's for. Uh, I'll say congratulations, Ota? Oh no! Ota. Oh no, that was for Mother's Day, I'm guessing. I'm home. Ota. Oh, the dad's here. Okay. Congratulations on getting into the university. Son. Oh, okay, this was right. Congratulations. Hooray! Congrats. Aww. Aww, well there we go. There's a good memory. Damn, that's a big hat. <laughs> Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't he? He definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. Oh, this is probably like Bill's uh, this loan. Is a bank yeah. The Matsushita family's loan. Okay. Let's do our best. Let's do our best. Mayumi wouldn't be the type to just throw it away. <sighs> the two of them seem so sweet where he said it's just like we have to keep supporting Ota. What a good family. Ota, you don't... I, you realize now how good you had it, but... I mean... You don't realize what I feel like when you're a kid, when you're a teenager. You don't realize until later, a lot of times, just how, like, how much your parents do for you. Okay. Oh, they're so sweet. For Ota's like, everything they did was for Ota. another painful memory no not quite are you certain mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner that's true but sometimes hardship is worth it is that so 
Oh, the sticker. Okay, okay, okay. It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home. Did you get it for me? It? This is... Oh, wow. He is a little spoiled brat, isn't he? Just like, as soon as he comes... As soon as someone walks in the door, he's just like, Did you get me something? That's like my... It's like my dog. When, <laughs> when I come home with bags, she's just like, Is there anything in there for me? I'll say chocolate. Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Oh, that. Yes, of course I bought it. Look, the Momonoki man chocolate that you like. Here you go. That's not it. Oh, you little shit. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. Ugh, this breaks my heart for Mayumi and be like, Oto was such a little brat and she still loved him unconditionally. I guess that's what being a mom is, though. All right, we only have one more mental lock to go. And that's why she bought that chocolate I'm at the, uh... Like, she had a remembrance, like, she remembered about him liking that chocolate, so she bought it for him. To bring to him, I'm guessing. You're not just a dummy. Wow. You're a super dummy. Man soon. Then again, I can kind of see how Ota ended up being such a spoiled brat. It's like his mom just enabled everything. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man. It's Odoroki Man. I hate this. I hate you, Mom. What? Wait, Ota. Uh, uh, where did you go? Uh, uh, please come out from hiding, Ota. Ota, I'm sorry. Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota. Oh. Come back, Ota. Did he run away at some point? Maybe like that's a memory where it's like he just ran away and she's like traumatized by it. All right, so we've got one more lock to get through. Sorry. Sorry. When Yumi wakes up after all this trauma. I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? It is. I hope he's right. A wall clock. Ooh, should we turn back time or advance time? Uh, let's turn it back. Because we're going into our memories after all, right? I'm guessing we want to go into things in the past. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? We've gone back in time. Time is a precious resource, Date. Don't waste it. Stop nagging me. Oh, I'll figure thanks it out. for letting me know I did the wrong thing. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Swinging door, swinging door. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I, I fucked it up. All right, well, we'll just restart it then. Ota, come over here. Ota, Ota, a girly magazine came <laughs> in the mail. Is this for Ota or for Dad? Well, this is awkward, <laughs> but there's no reaction. I tried my best. Let's investigate something else. 
And Dalton, there we go. We cannot continue. No, we're not done yet. There has to be something. Date, enough! Okay, maybe we have to see me, 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 her. I mean, the only thing is the wall clock, and the only other thing we can do is advance time, so let's do that. Oh, she's going to the great white light. Hopefully we're not going to kill her in the sink machine or something. Ota, sweetie. Mom, I... Oh, that was after he... He said I... he threw a temper tantrum and then they had the Mother's Day thing. That's right. This is her big memory. I knew it. I knew it was going to culminate. This is like her you most precious memory. So, this is sweet. Ota. Yeah. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> you know, I I love you forever and ever. Me too, Ota. I love you both so much. I'll love you both no matter what. Oh, forever and ever. Oh, oh, I'll never forget. And that was sweet. Of all the memories she lost, that is like the one yeah. memory that she didn't Our forget. Family. We can do anything. Yes. Yeah. Looks like it's okay to go back now. Yes, I agree. By the way, Date. Hmm. I admit it is useful every now and then. What is? Intuition. Your intuition. Oh, that was so sweet. All right, so we're up back at the hospital now. For Iris, or for Oto? Okay. I'm so sorry oh, that's for right. Worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, yes. All right, can we talk about this, Mayumi? But mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Ota in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked in the Femisto parking lot, Mayumi was in another convenience store nearby, buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Ota was still in the van when it drove away, so she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Yokira Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? So that was before Ota showed up. I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. 
I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. So she took the fall. That's why she didn't want to say anything. Aw, oh, of course, right? Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That was so sweet, though, they were protecting each other. Like, he took the knife to cover up uh, in case he thought his mom did it. And then she covered things up and took the blame because she thought that Ota did it. That's what I was thinking, anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota... But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki Man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. Well, at least we can have this moment where he can apologize for how he acted. They can have their, their sweet moments. You're not just a dummy. You're a super dummy idiot. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man! It's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. This is how you ended up the way you did, Ota. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. As he should. My mom is not that much of a pushover, but like I'm getting. How dare you speak to your mother like that? I'm definitely getting like this is the kind of vibes that I get from like my parents. My dad is definitely like the strict one who I was like always afraid if my mom said, "Oh, I'm gonna let your dad know about this when when he gets home." Uh, my mom is definitely more of a pushover, not to the point where if I called her an idiot, she'd be like, "Oh yeah, I guess I am an idiot." But like my mom is definitely more of like, yeah, she would though. She's the one who would spoil us, and my dad would be like. This, basically. Because mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Uh... Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt. I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart. It didn't go away, even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with Mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how Mom always takes care of we should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full-on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, Mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. She reminds me so much of my mom. Like, my mom's the same way. She's the type to always, like, think about other people. And, like, think about getting gifts for other people. And she never expects anything for herself. Like, my husband and I bought her, like, she, she needed a new purse. So this Christmas we bought her one. We got her, like, a brand name one. Because it was a good deal. And our first thing when she got it was, 
He's like, I hope you guys didn't spend too much on me. Like, I hope you didn't spend too much on this purse. Like, oh, Mayumi breaks my heart, man. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh, yes. Mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say cheese! Sorry, I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. I think we know why. Tailing? Oh, um, is she forgotten? It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Uh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Oh, this is all so sweet. I need something funny to break it up here. I bet don't be hiding any more knives under there. Get, get that hand out where I can see you. What happens now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. Oh, very sweet, Mayumi. I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. Ota's friend? Is that right? <laughs> it's like, not really. I can't really stand the kid. Although I feel like he's probably, uh, you know, Ota's starting to grow up now. So I think he's probably a little bit better in Date's eye. <laughs> Eyes I or eye in this know. case. <laughs> Maybe sitting quietly. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. Oh. R really? He's like, bye mom, screw you. <laughs> yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next oh time. Oh boy, Ota, don't say that. Come on, She's that's gonna be awkward. Girl. And then he, she sees her, and then all the memories come back and be like, wait, I hate this girl. <laughs> financer? Oh, fiancé. Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> I don't know how Iris is going to feel like that if you introduce her as your girlfriend. That was quite sweet, though. Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter.
Oh, what? Wait, what? Hold up. That's no. <laughs> what? Okay. I must have. I know that there's multiple endings to this, so I. I'm assuming that I didn't get the quote unquote the true ending. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to go back and make some different choices here. Okay, so now we're going back to the police headquarters? I am so confused right now. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Oh, Ivan looks so cute like that. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? She's like, uh, just check that one. Don't check any other videos on my computer, please. <laughs> Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes, after Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Oh, is there something reflected yeah, in it? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi. Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Oh, she's got the knife. Shit. You stay away from my boy. Yeah, she went right up to her. That I thought that was so strange. Whoa, she just took the knife from her. <gasps> Tessa! Whoa. What's wrong? Whoa. Damn. No. Everything's fine. That was real ballsy of her to do that. Shit. Let's go. So that explains how the knife ended up there. Okay. Ota. All right, now we gotta track down Iris. Well, Iris is at the hospital, so it'll be easy enough to talk to her. Hey, what's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever. So we many questions. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's what? eyeball. What? What? Oh my gosh, this just gets more wild. What the fuck? Ota root end. Okay, so, alright, so I did do, there are specific roots. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back and make some changes here. Alright guys, well, that, I was not expecting to reach the end of a route today, but um, yeah, still a lot of questions. Uh, wow, uh, quite a bit of just random information at the end there, just thrown up, be like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, so I am excited to get back into, I guess, the uh, the sykes and, or the sinks, and do different routes and, and see what new information we can get. But that was wild and uh, really enjoyed that. And that moment with Ota and his mother at the end was very sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we're going to be going back in maybe even from like Ota's sink and see if we can change things up. 
and uh, see what new information and what path we go on next time. I'm really excited to find out uh, what we're going to do next. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, bye. Special thanks to my top tier patrons. Nana, Sparky, Jared Fan, Joel Ostman, Harry Gaziff, Pirate, Pancake G, Asborn Kennedy, and Icognito.